Earthpen. Good day learners, this is Earthpen. For today's topic, we are going to talk about the additional trigonometric functions. And these are the cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Before we discuss cosecant, secant, and cotangent, let's have a quick recap about the three main trigonometric functions which are the sine, cosine, and tangent. In order to remember the formula of sine, cosine, and tangent, we use the expression so ka toa. For the expression so or a s o h, s stands for sine, o stands for the opposite, and h stands for the hypotenuse. Therefore, sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. For the expression ka or C A H, C stands for cosine, A stands for adjacent, and H stands for hypotenuse. Therefore, cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And for the expression TOA or T O A, T stands for tangent, O stands for opposite, and A stands for adjacent. Therefore, tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent why do we need to remember this first before learning the concept of cosecant second and cotangent it is because cosecant second and cotangent are just the reciprocal of sine cosine and tangent so as what i said earlier cosecant or usually abbreviated as csc is just the reciprocal of sine therefore the cosecant is equal to hypotenuse over opposite second is just the reciprocal of cosine therefore second is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent and for the cotangent it is just the reciprocal of tangent so cotangent is adjacent over opposite let's take a look at this triangle so since sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse therefore the equation will become sine theta equals 7 over 8 and for the cosecant since it is just the reciprocal of sine therefore cosecant is equal to 8 over 7 for the cosine since cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, therefore the equation will become cosine theta equals 6 over 8. And for the second, since it is just the reciprocal of cosine, therefore the equation will become second theta equals 8 over 6. And for the tangent, the equation will become tangent theta equals 7 over 6. And since cotangent is just the reciprocal of tangent, Therefore, cotangent is equal to 6 over 7. So that's the basic idea of the three main trigonometric functions, sine, cosine, and tangent, and the three additional trigonometric functions, the cosecant, secant, and cotangent. In solving right triangles, the three main trigonometric functions are traditionally used. And also in some calculator, cosecant, secant, and cotangent doesn't have a button for them. But even though they are rarely used, they are still helpful in solving some trigonometric equations and simplifying trigonometric identities. So that's it guys. Did you enjoy our topic for today? I hope you learned a lot about the additional trigonometric functions. Also, you can watch our other video tutorials in our channel. Once again, this is Earthman. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day.